Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a review on this fine, mighty fine watch because it's a Casio Tough Solar PRW1300. You probably can't buy them anymore. It's 10 years old. Um, it's Tough Solar so it's all solar powered. Um, notice there's a black um, dot on the high edge which means it's uh, still got great capacity in the battery, so it's still going strong. The only thing that isn't going strong is the strap. So I'm going to use these tools, which are inadequate for the job really, to try and get this strap off. And then I'm going to try to um, bodge this strap on, which is not made for it. If you want to buy the actual straps, they cost a lot of money. They cost more than the watch. And on the eBay, these watches cost about um, 100 and odd quid which is ridiculous. I'm not going to buy a new watch just for a strap. There's nothing wrong with this watch. So I'm going to try and fix it. So here we go. Are you ready for some speed, speeded up content? As I des parrotly try and get this uh, strap off. Okay, lovely jubbly. That's the first bit of that off. What's in there? Oh no. <laughs> it's pretty minging. It's got like bits of surf wax. Um, it's been quite a few years since I've been surfing. That's what that is though. And just sweat of course. Oh dear, it's just come out. See, it's, it's snapped there. Um, so what are we gonna do? Uh, it's pretty minging there. Lovely jubbly. Well, we're gonna have to clean that up, I think. Um, and then we're gonna have to, what my thoughts are, are to cut across this area here and then leave this exposed to allow a new strap to be put on. So what I should probably see is, I need, and I'm using a Pentalope screwdriver here for fans of iPhones um, to try and get this uh, get this bit out. Look at that, I'm, I'm blocking the camera. Okay, if we can kick this out, can we put another one in? That's what we're testing here. It's a proof of concept before we destroy our bracelet. There we go, he's out. Right, so that's one out. Can I put, um, so this is the strap for that one. Will this go in basically? I mean, if we had it like that, not like that, like that, would that actually work? But let's see. Let's see if we can get it to work. Oh, this is dirty, isn't it? I think you need to give it a bit of a clean. No, put it the right way around. Come on. Get it right, Maverick. Okay, so. Right, so that's what it looks like with the strap on. It's not pretty, but it's functional. So all we need to do now is cut this strap off and give it a bit of a clean. So I'll probably say, as it's going there, we are probably going to have to cut it somewhere along here. Like this, I think. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Cutting the strap off. And then that will go on like that. <laughs> Great! Looks just like the real thing, hey? Okay, so I'm going to give it a bit of a clean up um, and I'm going to work on the other side actually. Um, give it a bit of a clean up for now and then put it back on. Okay, so here we are post clean. And I'm just trying to get the thing on. I say post clean, there's little bits of crud there. I'm doing this. I did a night shift last night, so fingers crossed, everybody. I, I freak out at some point. Oh, it's come back out again. So, can it go in? I need to make sure it's fixed in nicely. So, there we go. It's a strap. I mean, it looks terrible, but my plan is to get a black strap, um, which at least will go with the colour scheme at some point. If I'm, unless I'm tight fisted and stick with just these straps. So let's um, get the other strap off. So we're going to use the... This is disgusting, what is all this stuff? Um, we're going to use the Pentalope screwdriver, which is, as we know, from our iPhone fix-it. Um, that's what that's for. Pulling apart an iPhone that's cruddy. So you can always see one's a more... This one's a trickier one. She's getting grumpy. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, that's the top end off. So I'm just pressing in 
and then I'm trying to leave it off with the other two. Oh, there we are. Crud, more crud. Okay, splendid. And we're going to cut across once again. So I'm going to do the cut now, why not? I'm a cowboy, that's what I do. I'm a cowboy. I'm a steel horse allied. Oh, that's horrible cutting. I don't like destroying things, but it's for the greater good. Right, time for clean up. Right, the clean up is done, and we are just going to try and again fix this on. So, this is a way of fixing your old watch because you can't really get the new straps easily. I see them, I saw them on eBay, but I'm not entirely sure if they work. I'm not confident in eBay to be quite honest. And so I I realised this looking at the watch last night that there, actually I found that there's some adapters but I couldn't find one that looked like the right one for this watch. Um, so I'm ju I've just made my own adapter out of the watch. That's all we've done here. I'll just push it in with my thumb. Can you see that? Quite possibly not. Oh, come on. There we go, it's on. It's on. Now that's it. What a wonderful looking watch. <laughs> well, it works, doesn't it, at the end of the day. It's better than not working. Now, let's see how it looks. It might be a bit too chubby for me, but we'll put it on anyway. Okay, a bit too chubby, but um, I'm sure I can source a different strap. Because um, this is now a standard strap which will fit on this. Um, rather than the rubbish straps that were on before. And the, the funny thing is, this strap is old and knackered, and this came from this watch, the Citizen Echo Drive. This watch is um, even older, that's 2006 vintage, that, and that is still going. So with these um, solar-powered watches, if you want yours to stay in great condition, and perhaps the reason why my strap's gone, my dad's got the same watch, same age, but the strap's not gone on his, but I put mine in the window quite regularly to keep it topped up. And if you're buying one of these second hand, then make sure that you ask the seller if the battery is fine. In other words, you need this to be H. So you've got LMH at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, but it means low, medium, high um, for the battery strength. So if it's H, that's good. If it's M or L, do not buy it because it, you, you can't be sure if the battery is recharging enough to be operable. Um, but this is a 10 year old watch, it just needs to go in the window probably once or twice a week um, to keep it recharged. Or if you have it on, on your hand but not covered up that will also recharge it. These are great watches though, this barometer is still working, it's not far off um, an actual barometer either, and it's still roughly in calibration. It's not super accurate, don't use it for aviation, you've got everything on it, stopwatch, whatever, dual time. It's a brilliant watch and um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of it and I hope that has, video has been useful for you then. So you don't need to buy a new strap, just get an old strap and cannibalise it and stick it to your watch uh, and that will work. So if this has been useful as a video um, or as entertainment then do drop a like and a subscribe as well for future content on me being a little bit cheap and trying to get away with, I mean it's not cheap actually, it's because I do like this watch, I've had it such a long time, you know, I've been, I've been everywhere with it, it's a shame to lose it, so it's nice to have it nicely fixed. Okay, well thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.